Hi, folks. Hi, people. <laughs> um, tonight's supper is homemade flatbread pizza, and it's going to be barbecue chicken style. And what I'd like to do is prepare it like this first, have it in the fridge for a while, and then, like, my oven's preheating right now. Doesn't that smell good? It does. So, of course, I need to put oregano spice on it. This is just dollar store oregano. But that's that's what makes pizza taste like pizza, I find. See? Well, the pizza we're used to. Yes, it's just homemade. Now I'm going to drizzle very, very thin drizzles of barbecue sauce on. You don't need a lot. Like, there's, what, a tablespoon here? Yeah. That's it. It's going to cover those two pizzas. And then I already have the chicken breast cooked tossed in very little amount of barbecue sauce as well and that's in the fridge because it'll only go on the pizza after the pizza's cooked <laughs> i don't know why that part got stuck in there but anyway you just you want to make sure you get like the edges because it really adds so much doesn't that look like a lot of sauce but it's only like a teaspoon for two pizzas measure with your heart people don't let people Oops. steal your happiness it's on your finger. Here, want some? Oh, really? You did? Here, you may as well take that, too. <laughs> it's like a smoky kind. It's uh, the chicken and rice. I live for the little joys in my life. <laughs> She's doing so good. Doing so good. Okay. Now, my hubby does not like black olives or pineapple, but I do. Uh, I can't wait. Do you want to try? No, black I olives? can't wait till I'm in the clear to eat vegetables like soft vegetables yes you'll do phenomenal <laughs> so i love black olives and i don't know why this summer i've been like i am not a girl who likes green olives oh i love green i olives. find their taste is like a stinky taste i don't know how to explain okay. it other than that do you want me to tell you what i associate green olives with ever since i did it sure dissecting a worm in biology ew and you love it formaldehyde is what you're trying ew that's disgusting Fermented? really what does formaldehyde that's do? that's disgusting it preserves and ferments and it pickles it pickles you oh, I, I can't I don't know, but I bought her a freaking bottle of green olives to have here at the house. You did? You know that. I already told you that. Oh. See how much she pays attention? I'm doing I literally sometimes. told you I bought you black or green I olives. I you said you bought yourself green olives. No, I don't like green olives. I said I bought you. Do you know what I like green olives in? Oh, pineapple, guys. I'm just going to drain it because it was frozen. Tell them. A martini. <laughs> Do you even drink a martini or is that just in your head? No, I swear to God, I do. You can do a pickle martini. Ew. With pickle juice. I like pickles, but I don't want it in a martini. Or you can do it with olive juice. Oops, I just lost two pineapple. <gasps> How dare you? Oh, tell them what we saw today when we went to get our drinks. What did we say? At McDonald's. You what? can get pineapple on the side instead of fries. Oh, as a side instead of fries? Yeah, yeah. you can get chunks of pineapple apparently. So it's probably just like a bag of pineapple. Yeah. So we do you want to try a pineapple? I should. Yeah, I probably do. Ooh, it's, it's kind of frozen still, that. so it's chilling. Like my fingers feel frozen. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she goes for another nibble. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, guys, this pizza is really healthy. The only thing it's missing is the chicken, but like I said, the chicken's already cooked and it's in the fridge waiting, and it will go on my hubby's pizza when it's fully cooked but look at that no you're not going to cheese loaded on the top. no i only put cheese on the bottom and that's enough all right so i gotta put that in the fridge you guys i have no idea if i had shared this with you um it was a christmas gift that i got myself and i got my dad one and i didn't want to show it on the christmas vlogs because he watches the vlogs and he would know like oh you're getting that for christmas and excuse me and if i would have tried to keep it secret that like i got him one he would have saw it in the vlog and wanted to go buy one himself so i got this on amazon and if you're a gardener at all like jacqueline this would be amazing for you linda i don't know it just it just helps keep you so much organized so this is what it starts off at 
and I'll show you guys. Like I literally have so much in here. And it's a four year planner, by the way. It's not just one year and you're done. It's a four year. Does it say that? I don't think it says it here, but it is a four year planner. Like it's nice. It's thick enough. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> gardening projects. So I started this early, like in the winter saying what I wanted to do, any repairs or changes I needed to make to the garden. And then you just start writing whatever you want in your book. But I also put like, okay, what are the seeds that I already have? What are the things I need? What What's my fertilizer compost? Like, and see, it tries to help you keep track financially too. But remember, I don't put anything sprayed in our garden. All of it's natural. And it's best part is it's free. And then I put my fall orders here. Like last fall, I order and it comes in in the spring. So I already got everything planted. And then there's like... Um, gardening season, to-do list, spring, summer. I already have my list made for the fall because there's a lot of things I do for the soil. Like I add in coffee, I add in um, mulched leaves, I add in grass clippings, um, compost, stuff like that, and coffee grinds, and it just helps the soil for the next summer. So I have my list of things, and then anybody who's organized with seedings my garden is too small to have all this stuff but anyway I'll use it for something and then what I did is I just started writing little things like Logan berries my three bushes I put when I planted them and how they're doing like I do updates on them and then these here are my outdoor perennial flowers that are in pots so I'll keep record of that and then I have all of my perennial fruiting things. So in our garden, for anybody who's new, we have kiwis that are grape sized. Then we have full size kiwis. We have eight different grape vines. They're all seedless and they're all different styles. Then we have strawberry garden. We have two cherry bushes and a cherry tree. We have hip cast bushes, gooseberry bushes, raspberries. We have high bush blueberries. And so I just make any type of notes that, and here's an example of the note. <clears throat> For the cherry tree, May 11th, lots of healthy leaf buds. So with our warm weather, the leaf buds started coming out May 11th. And then May 18th was an update, lots and lots of flowers. And um, then here, it's like my harvest calendar. So this is like a quick overview when things are blooming so that I kind of know when yearly to expect this to bloom or that to bloom. You know what I mean? And then I have different notes of when I planted some vegetables. I did an experiment this year to see what could withstand the frost, how early I could get away with planting. So like these are all notes to myself. <clears throat> but... You just, <clears throat> there's like areas for your diagram of your garden. So I did the best that I could with that. I do tire gardening as well. So gardening sketches, you know, and that would be the end of this year. So this is where year two would start. So that's what I mean. It's a four year garden planner and it's all the same as what I showed you. Like you do your, all your notes, your sketch, all that stuff. And it has four years worth, which is awesome because you have all four years of gardening in one book. It doesn't take up much room and it's just really great for all your notes and learning things. And, and this is available on Amazon. I don't remember what I paid, but whatever it was, it was a good deal and it was so worth it. So I just want to share this because there's a lot of gardening people that watch and this is definitely an awesome tool. Alright guys, I'm cooking supper for tonight. I have some uh, macaroni cooking here. And then in here I have homemade hamburger patties I made. And I have summer savory, oregano, dill, parsley pink salt, and cracked black pepper. I have two big fat onions and a can of sliced mushroom. So that's really going to take its time and cook. And then I'll drain that and I'll add one can of 
cream of chicken instead of pasta sauce. And I'm gonna make enough for two casserole dishes today. So one's gonna go in the freezer, one will be for supper. And I will of course do some steamed broccoli and some frozen vegetables to go with this stuff. It's gonna be amazing. Yum! What's everybody making for supper tonight? I would absolutely love to know. Macaroni's done. Look at this beautiful seasoned hamburger. It's extra lean. And the onions, the mushroom. Spinach would be beautiful if I had it. Now, I don't cook macaroni pasta dishes very often at all. Um, just when I want comfort food. But that's why I have to make the veggies on the side, like the steamed broccoli and some frozen mixed veg. And then that will be like the vegetable on the side of a beautiful homemade macaroni casserole. Yummy! All right, folks, I just need to get my knife. I'm gonna cut open this box. I completely forgot about this. Um, something me and Ellie were talking about yesterday made me think of um, last summer, so it's a year old, but it's still good. I had bought, um, I bought whatever they had of these homemade toffees, like a company actually makes them, and I bought a box load. Look at how many is here. I do not know, but these are really soft toffee. Are they the salted one? What's the flavor? I forget. <gasps> Butterscotch. Caramel butterscotch is called. We'll see if they're as good as I remember. They look hard, but they are so soft and buttery. Mm. Oh. Wow. Yeah. That's gold. Mmm. Look at that. Mm hmm Good morning, guys. My pan is smoking hot. I just got done making homemade toast on the pan. So now we're going to sizzle up some maple bacon. My friends, it's gonna be divine. Guys, what smells better than when you're camping and somebody is out there cooking bacon? You know, outside on their grill while you're camping, early in the morning, you hear the radio playing, someone got their outdoor radio on. 
somebody got a coffee pot over the wood stove, like, right? Is that not the best morning vibes in your life? Oh, so I have some good friends um, that live far away from me. We, we don't get to see them, but they have a camper and we grew up camping and we met as little girls, like when we were young. Our friends, our parents became friends because we became friends, and um, she was able to get a camper in her life, and her and her husband go camping every summer, all summer, like in between work. They both have full-time jobs, but in between work, that's where they are when they're on their days off. They're at the campground, and they even bring their cat, so... I know, Coco. Mommy's going to feed you, dear. Well, just hold on, okay? Mommy's not forgetting you. Let's have an update on the asparagus garden. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to point with my finger to show you guys where the asparagus is. One, two, then there is three right there. Three, there's one for four, five, don't know if you guys can see it, six, seven, eight, and nine. There's two together right there. You guys probably can't really see them. Hey, Coco. You guys see Coco? And Cuppy. The two of them. Aw, look at the girls. It's so cold out this morning. It feels like fall. Anyway, I'll show you the asparagus. Look, that's the asparagus. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of the weeds that I see popping out, but so far I see nine asparagus. Let's have a look at the pretty lilacs. Our lilac bush is so huge. Aren't they so pretty? I wish that you guys could just smell them. So nice. fragrant lilac. Wow, that's beautiful. Hey guys, look at the abundance of strawberries. <laughs> look how ginormous this flower is. It's just healthy and it's happy is what it is. Let's see. Can you guys actually see the strawberry forming? Beautiful strawberry. So thankful. So if you notice this little difference here, I added a whole bunch of um, 
grass clippings. Just completely loaded this. So that's gonna help to stop the runners from planting because now the bed is full enough. We don't want it squashed in where it can't get enough nutrients or that strawberries are fighting the other strawberries to grow. But look at this, guys. Isn't that beautiful? So that helps keep the soil warm too, the roots and that, and it will help keep away weeds and grass and also it will prevent ground disease from touching the strawberries. So how amazing. And look at this happy blueberry bush in with the strawberries. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of um, blueberry blooms here. You guys see all of them? Aren't they so nice? Once we get a good rain, that'll knock any of the stuff right off. Beautiful. Already opened it. So you guys, we are about to do a taste test and I was like, oh, we should show our friends. So this is the Snickers Protein Peanut Butter. Yes. Protein bar. So I already smelled it, but I need her to have a whiff. Yeah, I need a whiff. First of all, would you just, it's cold. Yeah, because I had them in my fridge, remember? Are you kidding? It smells like Halloween when I was a kid. It smells <laughs> like... Definite peanut butter is in there. I don't want half. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just want a little taste. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, guys. How can this be good when it's like... Okay. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <gasps> okay, that's everything. That's dangerous is what that is. I need mm. to get a couple of these. Because a couple? You're in, when you're in the mood. We need a case. <laughs> no, these ones are definitely You see that chunk early. of peanut? <gasps> it's definitely peanut buttery. And it doesn't really feel protein-y. No, but I love that. Like It's like a nougat chew. Like, chewy but soft chew. Yeah. Mm. This is something definitely if you're craving a chocolate bar and you go for this, you won't feel guilty. Or if you are out for the day and totally didn't bring anything and you're starving, this will save you from McDonald's. <laughs> it really what do will. you rate it out of 10? I give it a 10. I would give it a 10. You know what I give it, guys? A 50. <laughs> You do give it a 50? I give it a 50. That's I cannot big. believe it. And this is chocolate, but it... it, it, it no, no. If you, want more. you know what it tastes like? Protein chocolate. Like, it's not that chocolate that makes you like, oh my gosh, I need five. But the peanut butter gives you that... Oh, that yeah. sweet. It's amazing. Can you guys see Miss Coco? <laughs> I want to show you guys something without showing Ellie. So do you guys see right there? I'm showing them the basket. I'm showing them the birdhouse mm -hmm. with all the greenery that we have on the deck. You guys see that? Isn't that so pretty? Yes, ma'am. The girls are out with us. Oh, Ellie brought some baby potatoes. So these are mini potatoes that got all the sprouts. And they're going in the garden today, you guys. I'm throwing them in my closet. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to have, she wanted to do it at her house this year, but she just doesn't have the soil in her tires yet. You guys remember the four tires that she just got from her uncle? Because mm -hmm. it does take money to start. It does. But once you get all your soil in that, it's just upkeep. Well, it's just a matter of having the time to do right. it right now. And I did my cherry, my cherry trees. So yes, guys. See, see that. She planted Juliet today beside Romeo. Mm-hmm. And so these are going to get planted out in the garden today. We'll bring you back with us when we go. It's, it's a multi-family community thing that you have going on <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> it's okay, Coke. Oh, the oh. bird was there. Oh, yeah. While I'm here, i got to show you guys all the grapes that are coming. So this is a grape cluster. That's a grape cluster. Grape cluster, grape cluster, grape clusters, two of them there. Like every single thing, there's grape clusters. And these are just the beginning, guys. They take months to form and grow. And the thing about grapes is that you cannot pick them early. Like there's grape clusters going all the way up. Like you see here, there's like six different. It's 
probably hard with the way the sun is, but I promise you. Wait, where's my finger? See, there's some. Here's one. Yeah, you guys can't really see. But anyway, there's grape clusters all along here. And the thing about grapes is they can't be picked until they are fully ripe. Because if you pick them, they do not ripen off the vine. Like, say if you picked it early, it's not going to ripen. Mm -hmm. So that's why the birds will not try to get at them until they're ripe either. So, But yeah, this is just two vines right here, guys. And going to be a good harvest with those alone. I wanted to show you guys my vine goes all the way up. So this is the underneath of our um, roof here on the deck. And if you guys can see my vine, there's a portion going over there, portion coming up here. So and for the people that are very um, cautious about your roof, this is an extension. It's not the actual roof from your house. Correct. And there's okay. metal on the other side of the wood, guys. Mm -hmm. So. Just for the people that are like, oh no, it might ruin your... No, it's all good. It won't. It doesn't hold in moisture or anything like that. And they could redirect it from the soffit like as the, well. So they don't, so it can just grow all We don't let it grow area. on the outside of the roof, just but underneath that, here. That white stuff is called soffit? Yeah. Don't yeah, we're not going to let it grow no, underneath you're just, that. you're just going to redirect It'll that. It'll hang on to it, but yeah. it won't. Uh, yeah, you can cut the vines whenever they're in somewhere they're not supposed to be. So, Or you can redirect them. But yeah, it's all good. Look at Miss Magoo up on her auntie. <laughs> Some puppy therapy. Mm -hmm. okay. We are just chillaxing, the four of us girls. Coco, Cuppy's finally laying down. I brought out their fresh water dish for them because they've been running like little banshees. Mm -hmm. But now they might actually take a little break, but it's just therapy back here. And and I didn't show you guys yet, but so remember the little potatoes I showed you that Ellie brought to plant? Those, we planted three in my uh, uh, potatoes, potato fire, yes. the ones that she started in our house. And then the rest we planted in one tire. So and we, did, we we'll, spaced them out okay, but we also put them in little clumps. Ooh, they're not okay. There's like three or four in one, one hole. Yeah, it's, I said we put them in little clumps. Yes. So we'll see how it grows. And I'm thinking it's going to be a success either way. Well, Potatoes. Well, they were crammed together in the Ziploc bag. Yeah. They were rooting I think they're going to be okay. They're going to be good. They're going to Hope, have that And space. they're baby potatoes, right? They're so potatoes. that tire, let's, we'll see, okay, when they start sprouting. And then when it's harvest time, we'll see how many potatoes you get. So that's Ellie's, Ellie's uh, potato that's gardening our tire. That's experimental thing because yeah. if so, we're going to be planting a whole bag. We'll barbecue those. We yes. can do bacon on them and cheese and sour cream, a little bit of barbecue drizzle. Yeah, smash potato. Yeah, smash potato. Is I, I boil them and then I'll smash them and then put them on a baking sheet and oh. then cover them the way I would with nachos. That sounds divine. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, I made my appointment yesterday. Oh, it's been years. Pedicure, manicure. That's what I'm doing next month. So I'll take you along with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, look at Cuppy over there just looking at everything under the sun. Gardener feet. Right, gardener feet, yep. They're used to my dirty feet, so that's what happens when you garden outside with sandals. Oh yeah, you guys, I'll tell you what I me and Ellie were talking about so I was saying in about two weeks we'll have our first harvest of strawberries I'm estimating two weeks because we have flowers now so in about two weeks of strawberries we're gonna have so much so much the first round um, I want to have my family over like the girls in the family I mean over for homemade breakfast on the deck and I was telling Ellie we'll pick a salad bowl of fresh strawberries we'll have some whole strawberries for munching and then some sliced strawberries I'll make homemade pancakes. Ellie said she'll make biscuits. And I'll have like fresh orange juice with ice and stuff in a pitcher. And we'll have strawberries with whipped cream and on a pancake and stuff like that. And either bacon or sausage. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But, you know, breakfast out here on the deck. I'll cook the pancakes right out here on the back deck too. It'll be wonderful. 
and people can just there's lots of seating area and then we have the table I don't know if you guys know we have a big table there so yep no they didn't see you <laughs> I know, I was it's all back good. for the table.